Hey guys, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my library haul. I love watching library hauls. I think they're a really interesting way of seeing what books people really want to read but are unsure about buying for whatever reason. And I've got quite a few books out of my uni library recently. And because I do a creative writing degree, um, most of the books I read are fiction um, and not like really random non-fiction that you guys might not be interested in. So I thought I'd show you some of the um, fiction books I've got recently. Um, that I'm planning on reading the whole way through. Now I might not read all of them the whole way through because sometimes I just need the intro or I'll like find little bits or and I'm like that's enough I don't need to read anymore and I'm not interested in carrying on. But quite often I found because of uni I've read some really good books that um, that I wanted to carry on with even though sort of I'd got like used their purpose or I you know I've don't know what I'm trying to say really but yeah so I might do a video on that if you're interested but let's get into the video. First of all I thought I'd talk about a book that I didn't get out to read for any particular class just got out out of interest and that is Ali Smith's Autumn. I really wanted to read this soon because it's really sort of of the minute being about um Brexit and lots of other themes and apparently it's really good and Woman vs Books, who's a YouTube channel that I really like, I'll link it down below. I remember her saying that she found it quite funny at times. And um, I've not read an Ali Smith book that I've loved so far. Often I find they go a little bit over my head. But I really want to try with this one because um, I believe someone said it was more accessible than all of her other books. I think sometimes just I read them at the wrong time or when I'm sort of... I need some, I'm a bit frazzled and I need something really light, but obviously this isn't going to be light. But um, if you didn't know, um, Ali Smith's re releasing a novel for each season and they're all really topical and really about the right now and the UK as it is and everything that's going on. And I really want to start with this so I can read Winter as soon as possible because Winter was published just a few months ago and hopefully I'll be caught up in time for the next um, release. I'm not sure what's coming next, I'm assuming spring? Well, I assume spring. And hopefully I can read the next one after it's just come out and really reflect on it. Yeah, I just picked this up from the library because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and I didn't want to buy it just in case and um, yeah, so I'm really, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this and hopefully I'll get to it soon. Because I'm like not 100% sure on all of these books, um, some of my descriptions are really mangled and they're really, they're just, nothing is flowing today. I've already filmed this video actually and I had to delete it because it was just terrible. It was, I was watching it and trying to like edit it down, it was just awful. So hopefully this one's a little bit better and in the other one I had really weird voice mark, I sounded terrible but... Yeah, hopefully this one's much better, but this is um, a book I want to read for uni, I want to read some of for uni. And that is Sebastian Fawkes' Human Traces. And oh, you can't see it, if I hold it here, I'll hold it here. Um, and this is, I believe, a historical fiction novel, I'm reading it for a unit that's really focused on historical fiction, um, about two boys who come from very different backgrounds. I think it's set, yeah, set in the 1870s, and it's about them, and they're like psychiatrists, I think, and it's sort of just about a journey between them. And it says here, um, they find themselves united by determination to understand how the mind works and whether madness is the price we pay for being human. And it does sound really interesting and it's it was from a reading list. So hopefully I really enjoy it, but it's a really chunky book. So if I sort of DNF it or I don't continue it for my like personal reading, then um, maybe I'll do a video to let you know. Moving on is a book I'm really excited to read. I've wanted to read this author for a little while and when it cropped up on the reading list I was I was really pleased because um so I was just an excuse to read it now, just a perfect time. And that was Philippa Gregory. And the novel that was on the reading list was The Other Boleyn Girl, which is about Mary Be Mary Boleyn, obviously Anne Boleyn's sister, and oh, cousin? Sister. It's her sister. And um yeah, it's really just focusing on what happened to her and she's a little bit out of place and sort of like the political movements, etc. But this, um, 
I was worried that this was going to be like very inaccessible read. I don't know why because Philippa Gregory's novels are hugely popular. Um, she's advertised on all the train station platforms, but um, I was just thought, oh, I'm, I want to read it, but I'm unsure. Um, so we read a little bit in class actually, like a print, a little printout, and it was actually made me want to read it more. And it wasn't a particularly exciting scene or anything, um, but it just the writing really engaged me for some reason. And um, I thought, oh yeah, I could really get into this, I think. So I think I'm gonna pick this up um, next in terms of my, um, what I'm reading for uni. And yeah, I think I'm gonna pick this up next. I'm really looking forward to it. It's from the middle of her series, but they're sort of standalones, but interconnected. So, well, they're not standalones, but they're, there's a chronological order you can read them in. But I think I'm just going to jump in with this one. And if I like it, maybe I'll go back to the beginning and start from there. Well, another novel that is hugely popular and also for my historical fiction class, which I'm not really sure how to explain, is The Crimson Petal and the White by Michelle Faber. Now, this looks like it's been sort of cut wrong. And this sticker is from the library. I don't... I'll peel that off later. Um, but this is set in Victorian London and it's b a, the story of a prostitute basically from my understanding and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this. I've wanted to read Michelle Faber for a while because I've heard a lot of good things on Jen's channel and um, I've always had it as like a, in the back of my head an author I want to read from and um, the perfect time to sort of try him is in this class. Um, it is a really big novel, as most historical fiction novels are, but I think I'm going to maybe either really like it or really not get into it, but I'm definitely going to give the first few chapters a go and see what happens. And lastly is a novel that's completely unrelated to the historical fiction unit. It's not just historical fiction, but that's a huge part of the unit working on at the minute. Is a book that I'm reading, looking into for my dissertation, and that is... Isabel Allende, I think I've pronounced that right. I'll hold it over here again. Um, the House of the Spirits. And um, as far as I'm aware, this is a family saga um, spanning four generations. And it's magical realism, I believe. As far as I'm aware, it's magical realism. And that comes into play within my dissertation. And this is sort of hailed as a bit of a classic, I think, um, of the genre. So I think I'm going to read this to sort of get a bit of, fill in some gaps of my knowledge for what I'm working on at the minute. But I really hope I like this. And it's not very, it's not overly long. There's a, oh my word, look at all the text that's on the page. I really hope I like this. I, I, I don't know much about it, but I think that's sometimes what I quite like about getting books from the library because I don't have to know everything about it I just need to know an author or a topic or a genre and I can just pick it up and if I don't like it I can just put it down because I haven't paid for it so I don't feel bad I'm trying to be better at DNFing this year but I'm really not very good at it I got a bit better towards the end of the year but they were all books like I borrowed or were from the library whereas I find it really hard with books that I own um, yeah, so that's the end of the video. It was just a short library haul. I'm trying not to get too many books out from the library at the minute because last year I had piles on piles on piles. And um, with my uni, the um, the loan just refreshes. So I can keep them for months and months and months without actually reading them. So there's not as much pressure as there is with the public library. But I really want to get to those really soon, in the next few weeks, maybe at the beginning of February. So hopefully, oh my god, the light has changed. Oh my god, now I look silly. Oh, thank goodness it's the end of the video, because otherwise I'd look like a right tit. I'm really sorry about the lack of videos that there's been recently. I've had a really stressful hand in, and a really big birthday for one of my best friends and housemates. So I didn't have like much time to sort of devote to sort of extracurricular things. Hopefully I'm back in the game now and I'm going to like film a few videos over this weekend to get some up soon. So I'm really sorry about that. Thank you for watching this video to the end if you do. Um, please, please, please like, comment and subscribe if you liked it. I really appreciate any sort of engagement from you guys. Oh, the light's coming back again. Oh my goodness. <sighs> what a rookie. Thank you for watching. Bye.